Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we're taking a look at the new MMORPG Aura Kingdom 2, which is now available in PC and mobile both in Google Play and App Store. Aura Kingdom 2 is an open-world role-playing game which is a follow-up to the wildly successful Aura Kingdom title. However, this follow-up game features a completely new storyline. It is set in the medieval times and showcases 3D realistic graphics with Japanese anime-style characters, which makes it really cute. The team behind Aura Kingdom 2 reached out to me to try out this game. So before we begin, I'd like to give special thanks to X Legend Entertainment for sponsoring today's video. I'll be giving you a sneak peek of this new fantasy world and I'll be showing you some of the key features of Aura Kingdom 2. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Let's first start with the four different classes available in the game. First up, we have the Shinobi, which is an assassin specialized in sword play and poisons. This melee character deals high critical damage and is good for PvE and PvP content. Shinobi is available in both male and female genders. The next tab shows a preview of the skill animations. Next, we have the Dragoon, which is the warrior class. They have unmatched defensive stats but can also deal decent amounts of damage. In team content, they are more suited as a tank which absorbs the damage of enemies. Dragoon is also available in both genders. Up next, we have the Elementalist, which is the mage class of the game. They can deal huge damage from afar and have good crowd control abilities. They can also support teammates with their powerful healing ability. Here's a preview of both the male and female avatars. And last but not the least, we have the Nymph, which is the ranger class of the game. They can deal high critical damage from afar but have low defensive stats. This cute Luli, the character is only available as female. Once we select our character, we can customize its look. We can change the hairstyle, hair color, facial features, and skin tone. Don't forget to choose your accessory as well. You can adjust the size, angle, and position of these. The face accessory you choose will be free. The head accessory and wings are not free but serves as a preview of how it will look like in-game. Upon entering the game, we can see here that the game has a 3D interface which makes it easier to switch views. The interface is also very user-friendly. We'll be greeted by a basic tutorial on objectives. If you long press the skill icon, this will show you the skill description. Okay, let's continue on this basic tutorial. Next, we're welcome into the world of Ramayan. As with any MMORPG, just follow the main quest to familiarize yourself with the game. The quest list is located at the left portion of the screen. These quests will allow us to obtain items such as this mount and obtain skills such as this flying dash skill which grants mobility and allows us to enjoy the amazing digital landscape of the game. Another thing that will come across the game is the Eidolon system, which is one of the most important features of the game. Eidolons are powerful spirits which can be summoned to fight alongside you in the battlefield. You can select up to 5 Eidolons to put in your team based on your playstyle and personal preference. The Eidolon you put first will always follow you wherever you go, while the other 4 Eidolons randomly come out to help you in battle. In addition to fighting monsters together, there is also an intimate system that allows you to build relationships with your Eidolon. To access the Eidolon system, go to the main menu, Eidolon, and Eidolons. 
You can check here all of the Eidolons currently available in the game. The specially super rare or SSR Eidolons which have rainbow border are the rarest of them all. The super rare or SR Eidolons which have gold border have medium rarity. And then we have the rare or R Eidolons which have gray border and are more common. Just like in any other gacha game, the SSRs have superior attributes to so aim to get those. You can check their stats, skills, and all related information by tapping on their art. They are also divided according to the main stats that they give such as power, critical, life, tank, and evasion. So you can decide easily which Eidolons to prioritize. So how do we obtain Eidolons? Some Eidolons are given for free after you've completed quests. Like for example, you will get your first Eidolon Leona after completing the first quest. But aside from quests, you can also get these amazing Eidolons via the gacha system. Just go to mall and then Eidolon to access the two types of gacha. Eidolon gacha which consumes blue diamonds and Diamond Eidolon gacha which consumes chromatic diamonds that are acquired by topping up. Both will give a guaranteed SR or SSR Eidolon for every 10 draws, but Diamond Eidolon Gacha has times 7 more chance to receive Serena and Anthea. Serena is one of the most sought after Eidolons for all classes. Okay, for the fun part, let's try our luck and see if we get SSR Eidolons. For our first times 10 gacha roll, we got one new SR Eidolon, Wisdom, and one repeat SR Eidolon, Leona. Don't worry about getting repeats since you can use them for leveling up your Eidolons. Okay, let's try another one. This time we got only one SR Eidolon. Let's try once more. Nope, no SSR yet. Okay, no rainbow colored Eidolon yet. Alright, now we've got our first SSR Eidolon Servile from the Eidolon Gacha. I think getting SSR Eidolon is quite difficult as I only got mine on my 8th x 10 roll. But I've seen videos of people getting SSRs earlier so it might have just been my luck. Alright now let's go back to the Eidolon area and summon our new Eidolons. We can fortify our Eidolons by giving them this EXP dust which will increase their level and stats. We can also increase our affinity to Eidolons by giving them gifts and answering questions. Make sure to manage your Eidolons wisely as they will help your character become stronger. Also, another feature of the game is the character customization. You can freely dye your original costume by going to Inventory, Costume, then Dye. There's free color sections to dye using various color blocks so you can mix and match. If you obtain special costumes, you can also unlock the color blocks using diamonds and customize the color. Even accessories like these wings can be color customized and size adjusted. And lastly, let's have a quick run through of some of the exciting features I've discovered in Aura Kingdom 2. First, we have the mount system wherein you can ride these various creatures ranging from super cute to super cool. Leveling up your mounts will also boost your rating. Next, there's a wing system wherein you can wear these majestic wings, some of which you can obtain for free in-game. Similar to mounts, you should also level up your wings for an increase in stats. Another notable feature is the quest and dungeon system. There are lots of daily and weekly quest dungeons to keep you busy. Completing these will grant EXP and various resources like equipment, Eidolon items, and a lot more. Some can be done solo while others require a team. 
For PvP enthusiasts, there are tons of PvP events in-game to test your skills in battle. And lastly, we have a guild system. Joining a guild is very important since some portions of the game require a good party composition to finish. One of the main aspects of playing an MMO is socializing, and through a guild system, you'll get to know other players and develop bonds while exploring the game together. Alright, that's it for this preview of this new game, Aura Kingdom 2. Again, special thanks to X Legend Entertainment for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to try out this game, it's already available in the App Store, Google Play, and PC Download. Alright, that's it for this video guys, don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.